So hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo of the Spring project. So this is e-commerce application and it's built in Spring and Havernet. And it's using MBC, Spring, uh, Spring MBC and deployed on the Tomcat server. So this is kind of e-commerce application. So we talk about the database or the application and the roles. So in the database, uh, you can see uh, we have an e-commerce the database and it has three tables one for, for the product and uh, one is for the booking product and the user table so main important is the user table here which contain login id and the password for the users so basically there are three roles the first one is an admin so admin can be control anyone uh, like uh, the manager or the customer or other users and other section we have as a manager so manager can log in or we can replace the manager with a shopkeeper so shopkeeper can add a product of their shops and he can view the customer detail booked product and uh, etc similarly and a customer can view the application he can book a new product he can buy the product he can process the payment etc and the admin is going to monitor the both type of users manager and uh, like customer and shopkeeper so and for the technology it's running on this build on the spring mbc and the Havernet. so let's move to the project and let's check how it's working now so at the very first there we have a home page so this is the basic home page. you can change the heading according to the requirement and this content you can check change this as here we have a footer and uh, if you want a user going to click on the products you can check the list of all the products so for example i'm gonna um, book this project i want to book this project as an uh, user or customer i'm going to click on this book so it, it will re redirect me to on the login page so i have to log in as a customer also i have option to sign up if i'm a new customer so for example i'm a new customer i'm going to register in the application i'm going to with complete uh, so customer Test. I'm gonna enter some test. Um, last name will be test, and let's say login ID is customer one two three four, and let's add the combination of the password. So the password is the demo at the rate one two three, and the D will be capital. It will be like demo at the rate one two three so it contain the first letter always will be capital and some small letter then a special character and then user number so this is the validation it's using in the in the password combination and if we're going to enter the email address so we need to enter a valid email address otherwise it will show an error like <coughs> the text field is not valid and enter the gmail id and some mobile number and click on the save so user is saved successfully now i'm going to log in the on the account and uh, okay so this is my email id um demo at the rate one two three is my password and i wanted to log in here as a customer so now you can see the i i am i'm directly redirect on the page on the product page and you can see all uh, some common details is already there and I just need to enter the uh, address and some pin code so pin code should be an integer and the quantity for example I need two piece and enter I need to enter the address and when I click on the payment it will redirect me to the payment detail page so I need to enter the card detail uh, so card holder name I guess and the card number some integer numbers I'm gonna entering the dummy data here so here so this is just simple a dummy page it's not real time payment so when you click on the confirm payment you can see the product is booked successfully and the each product price was 200 2000 and now it's showing to 4000 because we add two piece there <clears throat> okay now if i'm going to book list you can see in my book list or you can see the history page i can see the list of that particular product okay so we have some next and previous button and it will be enabled once the record reach until 10 or some uh, it will fill the complete page then it will uh, the, the next button will be enabled and uh, okay so this is from the front end side or you can see from the customer side now uh, 
uh, admin and let's see the process of like flow of admin and uh, manager so i'm gonna log in now as a manager so in the table you can see we divided the roles in the three part one two three so one always will be for the admin and remember two will be for the shopkeeper and three will be for the user if i'm gonna refresh the table you can see the new uh, customer that we just created this customer is here in the list and the role id is assigned automatically three so all the customer will always have the role id three and so if you are going to log in as admin you have to verify that role id should be one so i'm going to log in as an admin and i just navigate here okay yes. i have to navigate here i just enter the admin username and the password click on the sign now so this is the home page for the admin as well and if i admin want to add a new manager or new shop in the in the in the in the system so you can enter so i'm gonna say manager test so let's create one new manager manager test and uh, test and okay let's see i'm gonna enter id so manager test one two three and the password will be same combination a demo at the return to three and the email id so let's say i'm gonna enter the email id as a uh, manager test uh, one two three at the gmail.com and a valid mobile number so i'm gonna click on the save button and the email id is this for the manager we'll see later so uh, the manager is added successfully and now you can see the newly added manager here if i want to delete some manager i can like uh if i want to delete so i want to as an admin i, I can delete it so i just need to check this box and click on the delete button so the record is deleted now <coughs> okay fine so uh, if I want to cre create a new ad manager, I can directly create from here as well. And if I want to edit some record, I'm just going to click on the edit button or let's say I'm going to change the mobile number. So I'm going to enter 9595, click on save, record is updated successfully. Now go to manager and check here the record is updated. So it's, it's, as a manager, as an admin, you can edit the record, update the record, delete and create a new so the manager list is also done and manager can add a new product in the in the in the system so over like a test product i'm going to enter test product and the code so project code or product code quantity like the stock so like you know 10 piece and enter the price so let's say price is 345 i'm going to choose an image there so i have to select one product image if i have so let's say i'm gonna I'll repeat this image again i'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna image two and i'm gonna add this as another product and provide some description click on save the product is there so i'm gonna check it and you can see that the new new product is in the list now so and the project list you can check admin can check all the available project also you can perform the edit operation delete operation let's remember whenever you're going to edit it you just need to upload the image again so for example if i'm going to edit it now so i'm going to change the price for example so i'm going to enter six seven eight so again i have to choose the image because to get the path okay so where is the image right now it's here and i'm going to click on save record is updated you can see the price is changed now also if admin want he can perform the delete operation when you click on this delete button and the product is gone automatically he can check the booked uh, list so you can check the book list how many product are booked till now okay so now <clears throat> i'm going to log in uh, perform the, i'm going to log out as an admin and going to log in as a manager so for the manager a role id is two so login id is manager one two three and the manager at the one two three is a password so i'm going to enter manager one two three and the password going to sign in and manager can also add the product in shop and you can check the product list so this can be your minor or major project totally it's built on the spring hour night and the same project is available in the jsp and servlet also <clears throat> and as a backend it's so always using mysql and uh, we are using basically mysql workbench so if you need this project you can check the link in the description box so uh, it's paid project 
and you can check the price and the services that we are providing so in the description box and just contact on the below detail like you can contact on me on the whatsapp or you can mail us over our mail ids so we'll provide the complete remote support to run your project this kind of project at your machine also we'll provide the source code the database and all the reports regarding related to this thank you